Hi, I'm Dr. Connor Nichols. I'm one of the emergency medicine ultrasound faculty, and we're going to talk about peripheral um, IVs today. So when we do peripheral IVs, we want to use the linear. So we're going to talk about just before you do the peripheral IV, um, we like to set up things. I mean, everybody's going to have their different way of doing things. I typically, you know, will put the tourniquet on, clean the patient really well so I don't have to clean them again. And then I usually use a tegaderm for our probe. Um, just after I've cleaned the probe, then I stretch the tegaderm across it. Just because, you know, I mean, obviously when you're doing an IV, there's blood involved. And so um, it just makes it easier so there's not blood everywhere. Um, so I put this tegaderm on. And then uh, you can go ahead and put the sterile gel on the patient since you've already cleaned the patient um, in the arm. And you want to put the tourniquet pretty high. Um, because you're going to look at multiple areas. You want to look for the brachial, um, which is going to run with an artery, and then you can look medially for the basilic, um, and then you can look uh, laterally for the cephalic. So when we're doing a peripheral IV, you want to make sure that your indicator, which um, sometimes can be confusing um, on this side, it's usually the, thing, the side that has the most stuff on it, but if you're confused, you can always tap the tip of it and make sure that it correlates with the indicator on the screen. So you want to make sure the indicator is on your left side. So no matter how I'm standing, if I'm standing at the head of the patient, then it's going to be on my left. If I'm standing down, it's going to be um, on my left. Um, so once you're scanning um, and you find the vessel that you're looking for, you want to compress and hold it and visualize whether there's pulsations there on the screen. If there's pulsations, obviously it's um, artery. If there's no pulsations, then it'll be a vein, and you, uh, you want to scan up and down uh, to make sure that it's not going horizontal, um, you know, and going to be something that's difficult to follow. So, I mean, if you can follow it on the screen, you'll have a better idea, so then you find exactly where you're going to go. Usually we use long needles. Um, I think in the emergency department here we have 20s um, that are 1 and 3 fourths inch, um, and, you know, there's multiple types available, but we use the longer ones. Um, and so. Here's our long um, catheter that we're going to use, um, and so typically, you know, I'll hold the probe. I'll plant my hand on the patient so that I can hold um, the probe steady. And what you want to do is you want to find your vessel. You want to center it in the screen, and then you look on your screen to see how many centimeters down the uh, vessel is. And so for this particular one, it's about... Uh, let's say one centimeter down. So one centimeter down, we want to go one centimeter back um, so, and at a 45 degree angle, we would go in about here at a 45 degree angle, which means that we should intersect that vessel by the time the tip of this probe gets right under the probe. So once we go in, then we can fan towards, and then we can insert more, insert, and just keep fanning. We kind of inch it in is what we call it. Um, so we um, insert, fan away till we don't see the tip, insert, fan away till we don't see the tip, insert, fan away till we don't see the tip, until we can kind of get probably most of this IV already buried.